this is a select all that apply. Now this is a, a little bit different of a select all that apply. It is usually five answers. I've only put four answers here because this is a, a rather difficult uh, style of question. Read it, think about it, analyze it, and then determine which patient, which victim will be priority red victim. Now, in order to answer this question, you have to understand the tagging system for victims in a mass casualty event. So I'm going to briefly go over that. We have four tags. One is red, two, yellow, three, green, four, black. If you are doing a question that states which patient is red, yellow, green, or black, you have to understand what patients you are going to allocate to each one of those tags. The first thing you need to know that priority patient or the patient that have a life-threatening condition with high chances of survival is category one, red category. That is the priority. A patient that have life-threatening condition with high chance of survival. But if you have a patient with a life-threatening condition but no chance of survival, those patients will go into what is called the expectant category or black category. And they will be the last patient to see. And actually, you will not be spending time with those patients, unfortunately. Remember, it sounds kind of cruel. It sounds like that's not nursing, but we're dealing with a mass casualty event. We're dealing with a disaster. 300 patients. Which patient are you going to see? So we have to identify in these four answers which patient will be categorized as the red category. So remember, life-threatening and high chance of survival. So number one, it says, a 10-year-old male with a crushing, crushing chest wound, tachypnea, labor breathing, unconscious, impelled object in the forehead. Answer number one, what category do you think is answer number one? Let me see your comments on the comment section. What category would you put patient number one? The 10 year old with tachypnea, labor breathing, unconscious, impelled object. See, patient number one is not red. Patient number one will go into the black or expectant category. Why? One, the patient is unconscious. The patient has a crushing, crushing chest pain and a an impelled object to the forehead. That patient has low chance of survivability. So it will go to expectant category, black category, the last resource. But professor, the patient is 10 years old. It doesn't matter. The age is not a factor. It's the patient's condition and the chance of survival. This patient has very low chance of survival. So number one, I'm going to eliminate it because that is black category. Number two, a 49-year-old male with crotching chest pain, 
Notice, it says the same thing as number one. Crushing chest wood, crushing chest pain. So, pretty similar. They're using similar words to confuse you. Crushing chest, crushing chest. But here we have wound and pain. Radiating to the jaw, diaphoretic, nauseated, has an open fracture of the left wrist. This patient, what would you categorize this patient as? Do you think this is black or do you think this is red? Answer two. Well, first, the patient is not unconscious. It doesn't say as answer number one, unconscious. It says, crushing, chest pain, diaphoretic, nauseated, and a fracture, and an open fracture. This is a life-threatening scenario. The patient will go as red category. So answer number two is one of my answers. Because remember, I am looking for the classification of red or life threatening this patient probably has uh, the clinical manifestations it's looking maybe a myocardial infarction cardiac condition but also has an open fracture so that is important as well number three a 75 year old female with obvious fracture of the femur oh important one long bone obvious fracture of the femur absent pedal pulses what does this what is this absent pedal pulses circulation compromise on the affected side tachycardia tachypnea diaphoresis awake and alert See, number one, unconscious. Three is opposite, awake and alert. Severe pain. This will be red category as well. Answer number four. 32-year-old female who is unconscious. Okay, so we see the word again, unconscious. Number four, unconscious. Ah. It's important to see these similarities. Three-inch laceration to the forehead. Echimosis behind the ears. Not good. Respiratory rate of 10. Not good. Shallow breathing. Rapid pulse and weak. Threading. No breath sounds on the right side. This is a life-threatening condition, but low chance of survival. This will be black or expectant category. So as you can see, one of the main differences between triage on a mass casualty event in comparison with triage that we do, let's say, at a hospital in a non-mass casualty event scenario, the key turning factor is not only life-threatening condition, but high chances of survival. That is key. So next time you're facing a mass casualty event, the next time you're facing a scenario that deals with multiple victims, remember the steps we talked at the beginning. Look at the answers. Which patient has a life-threatening condition? Which patient has a non-life-threatening condition? Eliminate non-life-threatening scenarios and Keep only the life-threatening scenarios, but identify out of the life-threatening injuries which patient has a higher chance of survival.